We start off in Narita Airport in Japan. A week earlier, I sent an email to the Malaysian Embassy in Tokyo asking them for permission to fly back to Malaysia. I needed to attach a few documents in this email, such as my flight e ticket, a scanned copy of my passport, a scanned LOU form, which is short for the letter of undertaking. It takes the embassy roughly three to five days to reply. I have heard some people experience a longer waiting time, so it really depends. That's why I sent mine a week earlier. In the embassy's reply, they will attach a document called travel note, and with this I am able to enter Malaysia. At the airport, I had to show the travel note and LOU forms when I check in my luggage. The airport staff were hesitant at first as they were unfamiliar with the procedure so they had to do some research on the requirements to enter Malaysia. But after a while, they understood and sorted it out and I was able to be on my way. On this journey, I flew with Korean Air. Enjoy your flight. Let's go On my flight path, I had to transit at Incheon Airport for 20 over hours, so I booked myself into a transit hotel. I had to book a room for 12 hours as that was the minimum, and they were out of single rooms, so I had to book the standard twin room. It cost me around 632 ringgit, 